As a graduate of horticulture, Ashley Skinner with My World 2 focused her research on improving urban food systems, which is a critical issue in many cities. Let's join Ashley in the heart of Kansas City at a nonprofit facility growing herbs, raising fish, and inspiring inner city youth. Hi, Dre. How you doing? I'm so excited to get to come here and volunteer. Welcome, welcome. So tell me about Now Valley Aquaponics. How did it get started? Well, Now Valley Aquaponics, we've been here in three years. So the location that we're at is on 29th and Wabash, one block off the famous uh, street, Prospect Avenue. It's a blighted community, lack of economic development, and so we want to kind of uh, bring some economic development to an uh, area that's been, you know, uh, disenfranchised for you know a lot of the time that the residents have been here. So this essentially is the urban core? It's right in the heart of the urban core in Kansas City, Missouri. So what are the challenges in the urban core when it comes to food security? Uh, one of the challenges is having access to healthy food. When you think of food, what is food we have in this maybe two mile uh, proximity, uh, liquor stores, uh, fast food places, so we don't have access to healthy food that's going to uh, help our bodies and be more nutritious for us to eat. And so that's pretty much the main issue is having access to it. And so getting back to getting growing in the dirt is what we're trying to accomplish here in Nile Valley. So what is the educational goal of Nile Valley? to empower and educate as many kids and people as possible on understanding where their food is coming from and understanding how to grow food. And then got away from learning how to grow our own food and with the global warming and uh, the lack of water that's gonna be in the future, I think this is gonna be key. Getting as much education out there and growing the most nutritious foods you can possibly grow. It's economic development, it's economic freedom, and awesome. it's uh, also been health beneficial as well. So I noticed you have a lot of produce out here. So what is the purpose of these raised beds outside of your property? It's free for people to live around the area. So they get off the bus stop, they live around the corner, the neighbors, they come here and they're able to pick free food, healthy food that they might not have access to uh, in other places. So uh, it's more of a community type aspect. We don't have to worry about anybody breaking in because we have free food on the outside, so it acts as a double shield, like a security system. Uh, we have green beans, we have jalapeno peppers, we have regular bell peppers, we have uh, cilantro, cabbage, lettuce, wow. and some other things we have here. So I'm very, very familiar with raised beds, mm -hmm. but I really want to get to see the aquaponics facility. Can we go? Yes, let's go check it out. <laughs> Wow, I would never expect to see this um, in the middle of the city. Right, neither does anybody else who comes here. Wow, so this is it. Yes, this is our aquaponic system where we grow fish, tilapia, and vegetables inside of our system. So what's the difference between hydroponics and aquaponics? Hydroponics is usually vegetables and some kind of liquid fertilizer. Aquaponics is fish and vegetables using the fish waste as a fertilizer. So there's the difference between the two. I see you have a lot of yummy basil. Yes, we have the basil here in our floating rafts, and so these are actually floating on water here. And their root system is able to drink the water from the fish waste. So we pump the water up to the top level up there, and the water comes down in that section there, and it goes down there, it comes down in this section, and then back to the fish as a cleaner water. And so there's a whole nitrification process where all this takes place at. We have about 50,000 gallons of water in here. Our tanks are six feet deep, four foot wide. We have two 20,000 gallon tanks and one 10,000 gallon tank. So we have close to about 25,000 tilapia inside of this tank here. And so we feed our fish. The fish poops in peace. We have to clean the water up. The water gets pumped up and as it goes through the gravel and it goes to our raised beds, we have floating rafts. It provides nutrients for our vegetables. Our vegetables are able to grow and the water comes back to the fish as a cleaner water. So it's a self-circulating system using 90% less water than traditional farming. So I'll show you my patented system here. So we have an integrated system to feed our tilapia, one of the first of its kind to feed our fish naturally. So inside of here, we have a, a space where we're breeding and rearing black soldier fly larva. Black soldier fly larva is about 40% protein, 30% fat. It also has a natural antibiotic in them that the medical industry uses for certain illnesses. So inside of this bed here, we have close to maybe a million and a half black soldier fly larvae inside of here. So it's one of the largest 
uh, Black Soldier 5 facilities in the country. So you are really innovating the food system because I've never heard of using black soldier flies in a hydroponics system. Yeah, this is one of the first of its kind where it's an integrated system. Not only is it being able to reduce our cost on fish feed, which is mainly about 60% of your, your cost anytime you're growing chickens, cows, pigs, whatever it is, you're reducing that cost and you're also reducing the carbon footprint by uh, growing your own food, your fish food, and people know where the food is coming from that they're feeding their fish. Wow. And so it's a lot of education, information, science, biology, chemistry, it all is. built in. And so this is part of the education that we do right now at Valley Coponics. You should teach one of my classes. <laughs> I don't know about that. So the big vision is to create an urban franchisable model that can be duplicated and implemented in other cities. And so we want to have that model that we're doing here, create economic development, access to healthy food, health education. So what inspired you to name this Nile Valley? So looking into my history and my culture, I did a lot of research and reading and found out that in the Nile River, they did a lot of cultivation with vegetables and fish. Uh, that's where tilapia comes from, from the Nile River. And so uh, reading into that, got the name Nile Valley Aquaponics. And so kind of a history and cultural thing where we're getting back to building, uh, learning our history and our culture. I think that's so important, and that's one of the reasons why I'm so excited to have you as my mentor. You know, being able to teach kids about the history and how food is just a way to build a community. And I love that you're doing that here. So thank you again for uh, deciding to be my mentor. Thank you. I appreciate it. We have a lot of work for you to do. Let's oh. get to work. <laughs>